Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome your faces to the Wednesday edition of the Gaming News. As well as of today's episode saying, sorry I didn't do the Gaming News yesterday. I went out and stuff like that. And I was kind of like, I looked at the news. I was just like, well, just jam it into today's episode. Catch up on the news on the last uh, 24 plus hours. Um, so moving into the first story, which is pretty, pretty big, man. Um, Rocket League has reached a massive milestone. It has now reached a number of 30 million registered players who have played on the game. Um, they haven't sold that many um, copies of the game. They've only sold 10.5 million. Um, but the reason there's so many people play it, because obviously if you get PlayStation Plus, you get the game for free. Uh, you can download it. And it was free last year. And it's got popular and popular and popular. And where they introduced esports to it and all that stuff, um, it's become more bigger. So like uh, last month, it owned 29 uh, million users last month. But this month, it has now pushed it over to 30 million um, players registered for the game. So well done Rocket League. I'm very proud that you hit that number. So Xbox had some technical issues early on. Obviously they did an update. They did a couple of days ago. Um, a new party system. So it's more like if, I think if you load up the game. Um, like literally say like say there. You'll have like a list to see. It'll pop up saying who's like chatting and all that stuff. Um, and it's a bit more of an easier kind of um, inviting friends. It's basically a party system um, they've introduced. And they had some problems they did earlier on um, with the actual Xbox Live party and Xbox Live uh, invites. Um, so they had some problems. Uh, there were some issues which were going on on with Xbox Live. Um, but they now have resolved it. So if you have been on Xbox in the last couple of hours or a day or so. Um, there was problems, but now it's fixed. So, happy days. So, Naughty Dog has released a brand new update for Uncharted 4. And um, basically, um, with the ranked multiplayer system, um, obviously it's going into season 5 of uh, ranked, and it started on April 3rd. Um, and it should have re the stats apparently on the game should have reset it, but it didn't get reset. So, um, Naughty Dog have released an update which will uh, fix the issue. The studio is resetting um, it, to clean a clean start to all players, it's saying. Uh, but if you do, if you're worried about maybe you lose um, your re ranked rewards uh, and along the way you will they will be retained uh, Naughty Dog said so don't worry about losing any sp specials and they've added in um, a couple of stuff as well for season five they've added a cowboy cowboy hat item and a garbage uh, patch and yeah that's pretty much it uh, basically uh, added in a resident of village to prior uh, prevent to uh, explore um, and increase LP cost of um, Drake's uh, to uh, free LP. I don't know what that means, if that means anything to you, but I've added some things and all that. Um, but that's the major update for it. So it's all patched up. So if you are into your Naughty Dog um, rank game, it is now fixed. So you can go play and get ranked up. And to the people who play that lovely game where you swing a sword at someone for honor, uh, the update is out today on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. You can download it now. Obviously, we reported this a couple of weeks ago. I'm um, saying the update is coming up uh, for 1.05, um, and it is out today. So if you uh, want to go play the new update, go and play it. It might fix a bug issues if you had any, um, and balance, balance, uh, balance tweak, tweaks and all that stuff uh, in the game. So so go and download the update. Well, if you switch it on, it'll probably install straight away anyway. So just to let you know, uh, then the PC uh, update, which is out as well now. So updates for everyone. All you beautiful people who live in America, you're in luck. Sony have announced they're going to be releasing a PS4 Slim 1 terabyte version, which is going to cost you $299. Um, so you can get a 1 bit terabyte, well, 1 terabyte of um, PlayStation for your memory now. So you don't need to get worry about the 500 gigabytes and having to delete stuff every now and then so you can get one terabyte obviously they did 500 uh, 500 gigabytes um, but if you want to maybe have a little bit more you can get a one terabyte now which will be available very 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 soon this month some point. So obviously the other day we reported um, the most popular games are sold in the US for games last month um, but this month has been announced for the UK. I've been waiting for this list to be honest. Um, so the most popular games are going to do the top 10 um, for this uh, in the last couple of weeks this is. Um, what games have been um, released and 
in from 10 to 1. So at number 10 is Lego City Undercover. At number 9 is The Legend of Zelda, uh, the latest game. Uh, Rocket League is at number 8. Rocket League is freaking dominating everyone at the minute. Really surprised by this one. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is at number 7. Why? Just no. Number six, ukulele, which is a brand new game, which has just come out a couple of uh, about a week ago. Um, so ukulele as well. Uh, FIFA 17 at number five. Overwatch at number four. GTA 5, which is really surprising, at number three. Um, then Lego Worlds uh, at number two, and Ghost Recon Wildlands at number one. Um, I'm really surprised by that. I thought it'd be like Mass Effect would be in there. And not Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Even though it's like ridiculously cheap everywhere, so that might be it because everywhere you look it's like 20, 20 quid, 30 quid, something like that. So it's ridiculously cheap at the moment. So if you think about getting Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, get the special edition because you get on Amazon for about 40 quid. So you can get Call of Duty Remastered, well, Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare if you really want that game. But to be honest, it's rubbish. So if you remember a couple of days ago, we did report about a, a new project coming from the publishers of Dark Souls. Um, they have come out uh, in the last couple of hours, uh, well, 24 hours, sorry, um, to report what they're working on. It's a game called uh, Code Vein, and it's expected to be out in 2018. No platforms have been announced yet but basically it's going to be a, like an a vampire rpg style kind of game um which is obviously going to have that probably that element of dark souls um but it's just vampire form and it's supposed to be like a pop pop click world sort of thing I can't say it properly um, but it's like vampires and all that stuff so if you're a fan of the Dark Souls series you're getting more and more info but I'd probably say I'd be, be intrigued by the trailer and more info because if a uh, vampire RPG man would be pretty damn cool to play so Asia have come out uh, yesterday with an article on big news websites like the BBC I'm reading this off um, is about esports it's basically they have confirmed that it's going to become a medal event in 2022 at the Asia Games. So esports will be inter introduced to the official sporting program of um, 2022 Asia Games, which is very interesting um, about the whole esports uh, sa sa saga going on at the moment. Because uh, if you remember a little while ago, I was talking about the esports situation, uh, like football clubs are now again esports and all that stuff, um, and it's generated so much money esports at the moment and i'm not shocked by this thing because it is a thing it has become a thing you never thought for i when i was in school when i got into gaming at the age of 13 this actually becoming a thing like a sport i i would be like ha 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 nah mate no i say i know you how you compare to players and all that but at, if, if this should be called like esports and all that stuff and becoming a thing um and it's like in 2017, I'm going to give you some like statistics and all that. Um, esports generated um, dollars, what oh, pounds actually, 400 million in revenue of 2016, with a global audience of 320 million people. That's insane. That is absolutely crazy. That is that's whew, a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money, obviously, because you've got your big dogs, you've got your CSGO, you've got your freaking League of Legends, you've got your Dota 2. Um, and obviously, and you've got Call of Duty, you've got um, Rocket League, which is coming up now, you've got Halo, and generally all these esports things, it's becoming a massive thing, man, so, it's, and I, I think I did report um, another day as well, and there's a scholarship, a scholarship now you can get for becoming a competitive gamer. Uh, in America, so it's a, that is going to become a thing as well. You can probably go to college and study to become a professional gamer and all that stuff in the next couple of years. And it's the way it's, it's crazy, man. I find it absolutely crazy. So let me know in the comments down below if you're around the same age as me. I'm turning 23 this year. Um, did you think esports would become just such a big thing, like big events and all that stuff? Um, soon, this is going to be like places like in the UK in Wembley. This is going to be selling out the whole entire Wembley. And uh, probably what forty thousand to sixty thousand of probably be at the O2 man. This kind of stuff. So I find that absolutely crazy. And uh, moving into the last uh, news item for you today, it's about t Guardians of the Galaxy uh, series from Telltale Games. It's just uh, IGN's review um, of the game. If you're not, you haven't seen any reviews on it. They've given it an 8.5 out of 10, saying it was great. Episode one of the Telltale Games of the, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy series hits. 
um, most of the right notes uh, to capture the spirit of the comic and the film. So, take from that. That's pretty damn good, man. Um, I've been watching it myself. It looks pretty damn good. I've watched two... I think I've watched the first half an hour of it so far. I need to catch up on it because uh, I don't have time to watch uh, much of it. Um, but it's something... It, it, it does look capture the feel so far for me. It's kind of like... It has some funny parts in it. And it's just kind of like golden. I definitely recommend either watching it on YouTube or buying it. One of the two. One of the two. Definitely suggest. Definitely suggest. Um, but that's all we've got time for today. That's all the news that I have for you today. Um, anything that we talked about today and you want to have a little discussion about it in the comments down below, feel free to comment. I will get back to you. A-S-A-S-A-A-P I think that's how it's done. I don't know. Um, and thank you very much for being supportive of this news item thing I want to do for you. Uh, but the same as you doing all the research, all the reading and all that stuff, you can simply put a video on in the background, watch it, and just kind of play games and listen. Yeah, pretty easy like that. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. Come on, hit the like button. Don't be lazy. I know if we could get over 10 likes on this video, people... That would make me absolutely amazing on this Wednesday. Because I'm back at work tomorrow. So I would like to go back to work feeling amazing. Just knowing you guys hit 10 likes on this video. That'd be great. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Turn channel notifications on. I will be back tomorrow. 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 With some more gaming news. Uh, just heads up as well. There might not be no gaming news as well Friday. Because uh, Friday I am out Friday. So I'm working all day. But I'm out all night. Uh, out in the evening so there might not be no news items um but i might do one saturday to make up for friday so yeah uh, thank you for watching have an awesome day and i'll see you later on bye bye